If you want to have a print layout with a large map covering your full area and a smaller inset map focused on a subset of your areas, then you can do it this way. And to show you, I'm gonna use 2019 election data from the UK. That's what's on my screen now. And in the table, I do have a column that's got the region name in it, which I can use to filter and display, in this case, just London. So I'll go to project, new print layout, I'll give it a name. And then in this case, I'm gonna right click on the page, go to page properties and change it to portrait because the UK is a portrait country. Now I'm gonna add a map like this. It'll fill the page and I will move the item content by hitting that button. I'll position it like that. I'll hold down control. I'll, I like to do this manually. Hold down control and use the zoom button and then position it. Okay, so I'd now like to have a little inset map of Greater London because the areas in it right now are quite small and hard to see. So what I'll first do is I'll make sure I'll select the map. Let me expand this here. And in layers, so in the layers section and item properties for map one, I want to lock layers. If I was gonna change the styles, I could also lock styles for layers, but I'm not gonna change the map colors. So I'll click lock layers, and now I'm gonna switch back to the main map canvas. What I'll do in the map canvas is right click and I'll duplicate this layer. I'll turn off the original one and I'll turn on the copied one and I'll right click it and I'll go to filter. And the filter I'm gonna use is region name equals click all. I'll click London. So I'm only gonna show London here and that's why London only is selected. Uh, my labels come on because I've set it to come on when I zoom in, but we don't need to do that. I will just go back to my print layout now and I'll add another map. I'll add it here, you could add it anywhere. And then we just have London in it. And if I hold down control and zoom in to get London a bit bigger and resize the box a bit, position London, okay. I'll hit refresh and it stays as it is because this original one has been locked. So what that did, it basically froze the map as it was at the time. I went back and I changed things and filtered just to see London. And now I have a little London inset. And that is how you can have two maps in one print layout, one showing the full area and one showing a smaller subset of areas within them.